How's it, Brandon Split here from thirstgym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the kettlebell split squat clean. All right, for this exercise, we're gonna use a kettlebell, and we're gonna use this kettlebell to help improve our range of motion and our split squat pattern. So I really like to use this for athletes that are overly tight and they have an issue getting in a nice split squat or we're trying to teach them how to absorb force better and understand that it's okay to let that force kind of dissipate into the ground and let us ultimately improve our hip mobility and range of motion. So I'm gonna be in a split stance position here or a split squat position. And the kettlebell is gonna be on my open side. So in this case, when my right leg is forward, I'm gonna hold the kettlebell here. You can use a dumbbell if you need to. The kettlebell is probably just gonna be more comfortable uh, and easier to understand once you kind of get the hang of it. But from this position, I'm essentially gonna clean the kettlebell up. But as I go to do that, I actually wanna pull myself under the weight. So I'm gonna use the weight to unload myself, actually get down in that split squat position and own that position and be in a better range of motion than I was or what I could have probably accessed without the use of the weight or the kettlebell. So it is gonna use a little bit of explosiveness and snappiness, a little bit of coordination, but all in all, it shouldn't be that complicated, but your athlete should feel like they can achieve a better split squat because of this movement pattern. So from here, I'm gonna clean the kettlebell up Elbows come forward. And what that does is it opens up space on the backside so that I have ability to move my body into, and then I could definitely do the other leg as well. And I to let me get in that position. So for an exercise like this, I always like using this in my plyometrics at the beginning of my training programs, help athletes get opened up, improve ranges of motion, pair it with something explosive and strong, considering it is somewhat explosive itself. The key thing here is not to use a crazy amount of weight. You're gonna need some weight to get some adaptation to be able to let them get underneath it. But again, I've only got a 20 pound kettlebell here. You know, the heaviest I'd probably go be 30 pounds. I don't need a 60 pound kettlebell to get the most out of this exercise. We're gonna do this for about three to five reps on each side and then switch sides. And as I mentioned, pair this with your plyometric speed, agility, things of that nature. You're gonna get some active mobility and movement stuff while still be fast and explosive with another uh, exercise as well. And again, this is an exercise for those that are more tight and improve the range of motion and you're gonna find that immediately it helps their single leg patterns just improve. So when they do do their lunges, their split squats and things of that nature, they should move better after doing an exercise like this. If you've got any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, have a great day.